Hey there everyone, it's Brian with the first installment of a series called Seven Steps to Creating and Selling a Niche Information Product. And maybe you're not sure why you'd actually want to do that. Or there's a good chance you've seen a lot of bold claims online about why you need to be selling information right away. Are these some of the reasons why you're here today? Maybe it's to get that sweet new ride? Or finally score that exclusive estate home? Or maybe just quit work and party like a rock star? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's enough hype on the internet already when it comes to selling information, and I don't think we need to add to it here. The fact is, there are plenty of practical and realistic reasons why creating and selling information products is something you ought to be doing, and we don't need to resort to the champagne wishes and caviar dreams in order to justify it. So let's take a look. In just a bit, I'll be giving you a brief overview of the entire seven-step methodology that we'll be covering in this series, so you'll have an idea of where we're going from here. First, though, let me touch on some of the real tangible benefits of creating and selling information. First, we've got passive income. Any wealth expert will tell you that passive income is the key to getting rich without breaking your back. But that's not the only benefit. If you're trapped in a cubicle for 40 grand a year at the current time, and you create something once and sell it over and over, and that replaces that 40 grand a year, you're one happy camper right there. Next, just being able to say that you're the author, creator, or producer of an information source instantly provides you with more credibility. Whatever the subject matter, demonstrating your knowledge in tangible form tends to boost your authority. If you're an existing business owner or professional, Putting your expertise in tangible form not only boosts your credibility and authority, it can add a valuable revenue stream that boosts your bottom line without requiring you to continue to trade your time for money. Create the product once and sell it over and over. Finally, here's a reason that may seem counterintuitive, but it's something to think about. Instead of giving information away for free to attract customers and clients, which as we know is a very popular strategy online, create something and charge for it. Essentially what you're trying to do is break even on advertising costs, so you're advertising for free. And by only dealing with prospects that have made a purchase, they're inherently better qualified and you should get a good return on your time in dealing with them. Okay, let's take a quick look at the seven steps that we'll be covering. First of all, we need to determine what our product is about and whether or not there's a compelling demand for it. This is the most important step, so we'll be getting in a lot of detail. Next, we need a strategic business model to make sure that we're profitable. Third, we actually need to create the product and decide what format it's going to be in. Fourth, we're going to need to package the product, and this is true whether it's in digital or physical form. Fifth, we'll look at copywriting techniques that'll help us actually sell the product. Sixth, we'll look at testing. This will help us determine how much we should charge and whether or not a certain copy element is working as we intended. And finally, we're going to look at traffic sources and ways to accept payment from our buyers. So there you have it, the seven steps to your very own product. We'll get into the details starting with the next episode. See you soon.